Hi folks, we've been busy researching capture cards to help you figure out what you need to make your best audio and video content and stay on budget. Links to all the products in the review are in the description box below, where you'll find current pricing for your region wherever possible. Now, before I move on, we'd love to hear what capture card you're using right now and what you think of it. Let us know in the comments. Okay, let's get into it. Here are the top 5 best capture cards. The fifth product on our list is the Avermedia Live Gamer Mini. The Avermedia Live Gamer Mini is a compact and portable capture card. This is the smallest capture device to come from Avermedia. It can pass through and capture up to 1080p and 60 frames per second without any delay. It is compatible with most devices including gaming consoles, smartphones and laptops. The rear is equipped with an HDMI in and out and a micro USB port. It comes with a thick, braided USB cable in the box. The design is simple, the body is made of plastic. There are parallel indented lines with the logo and an LED light indicator on top. The LED indicator shows the status of the device using a red or blue light. The Live Gamer Mini uses Avermedia's own Rec Central software to record, stream and share videos. There is a feature that lets you stream videos with rich overlays and do multiple streams. The performance of this device is great, the quality of recorded videos remains consistent and the frame rates are always 60fps. The Live Gamer Mini doesn't get hot easily and it keeps the load on the CPU light because of its dedicated video encoder. The Live Gamer Mini is a perfect buy for beginners, it has all the basic features you need with versatile software. The fourth product on our list is the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. The Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus is a flexible capture card device that doesn't need a PC to run. It can pass 4K video through to your TV and record 1080p and 60fps footage. You can record from your game console and save it directly to the SD card. The design is functional and portable, measuring just 5.8 inches or 15 centimeters. The front panel has a large button with an indicator light that turns blue when it's ready to stream or record, red when it's recording, and a pulsing blue when it's streaming. You can access Avermedia's Rec Central software that lets you choose your video quality, adjust colour or audio settings and other features. There is a single and multi-mode depending on what you need to capture. Multi-mode allows you to record complicated setups such as face cams or overlays. The Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 can be very helpful for Twitch streamers or anyone who wants to record gameplay. The support for a micro SD card and PC free mode allows you to record on the go. It has an affordable price with a lot of punch. The third product on our list is the Elgato HD60S. The Elgato Game Capture HD60S is reliable and has an HDMI pass through to your TV. It accepts any unencrypted HDMI video signal of up to 1080p with 60fps. It has a compact body that measures about the size of a wallet. The casing is matte black plastic with curved edges. On one end of the device there's an HDMI input, a USB-C port and an audio input while the HDMI output is on the other side. It comes with an HDMI and a USB-C to USB-A cable so you can integrate the HD60S without needing to buy more cables. Elgato includes its own Game Capture HD software as a free download. With this you can create custom scenes and overlays and you can use one of the 10 included presets. You can get a great gaming experience with the HD60S. It has minimal lag which is optimal if you want to play on your monitor while streaming. The captured footage remains at a high quality while streaming. Overall, the Elgato Game Capture HD60S is compact but reliable as a capture card. It is a great buy if you're looking to record and stream. The second product on our list is the Razer Ripsaw HD. The Razer Ripsaw HD can capture crisp and smooth recordings. When you stream or record, it can output 1080p with 60 frames per second with the 4K pass-through option. The connections are straightforward with an HDMI in, out and USB-C port on one side, while the other side has a mic and headphone jack. The Ripsaw HD is supported by all the main broadcasting software packages, including Streamlabs OBS, OBS Studio and XSplit. This device can handle some basic mixing too. With the microphone input and output, you can track your audio with zero latency. The design of this capture card is a sleek black. It makes smart choices with the placement of the connections for an organised look on your desk. 
It has a thick rubber base that contributes to its durability and keeps the Ripsaw HD from sliding around. The Razer Ripsaw HD is a solid option for a capture card. It offers great value for its price and has killer footage quality. This black box can handle all of your needs with some additional bonus features. The first product on our list is the Elgato Game Capture 4K 60S Plus. The Elgato Game Capture 4K 60S Plus is a future ready capture card. It has a standalone recording feature using the SD card and captures 4K HDR footage. Standalone recording is super useful because it instantly optimizes itself. You won't have to adjust settings before recording, which makes it painless. It has no lag with the pass through, which lets you use a monitor while streaming. The footage has consistent high quality and is easy to pull the video clips with the card reader. Elgato provides guides on how to work with HDR video for beginners. This is a handy instruction to have so you can make the most out of your recording. The body is made of black aluminium for durability. There are air vents underneath to help control heat dissipation when in use. The design and feel of the 4K 60S Plus is luxurious. It's an ideal device to take with you during on-location events. Convenience is a big factor if you're looking to buy the Elgato Game Capture 4K 60S Plus. You can capture high resolution gameplay anywhere without the need for a computer. It's a great investment and perfect for anyone who wants to upgrade their setup. And there you have it folks, the 5 capture cards that got us excited this year. If this video helped you in any way, let us know by giving it a like and if you're new here, hitting the subscribe button. If you would like to see some more reviews from our team here at Gear Music Tech, here are a couple that we think you'll enjoy. We look forward to seeing you back here on Gear Music Tech soon. Bye for now.